These are the scenes of violence and unrest that a new law in Egypt was meant to tame. Instead, it appears to have given new impetus to Islamist protesters. In Cairo, hundreds faced off against the police, who've been given enhanced powers to use force against unauthorized protests. It's given them a fresh cause to power their defiance of the military-backed removal of the Islamist president, Mohamed Mursi. Of course, we're here to oppose the oppression that increases every day. Every day, people are being captured because they're carrying the Rabia logo or because they did not receive a permit to protest. The Islamists have another new cause that inspired protests in the city of Alexandria. That's where 21 women and girls were sentenced this week for taking part in a protest supporting Mr. Mercy. The women got 11 years. The girls were sent to juvenile detention. It provoked fury amongst Islamists. It may also have given them for the first time a case that may win them some sympathy with the wider Egyptian public. A statement from the office of the interim president, Adli Mansour, certainly seems to acknowledge this, suggesting that he would like to pardon them, but cannot until the legal process against them ends. As a funeral was held in Cairo for an Islamist student killed in clashes on Thursday, the authorities must calculate whether the anger on the streets today was just more of the same, as has been seen almost every Friday since the ousting of Mr. Mursi or whether the new protest law that many non-Islamists and rights groups have denounced will be counterproductive. It's already brought some secularists back onto the streets in protest, although they steered clear of demonstrations today, not wishing to be seen as allying themselves with the Islamists in any way, for now at least. Sebastian Usher, BBC News.